Toyota. Looking forward to see you. Welcome to another episode of UPE. Today we're in a Toyota Supra. This is the 3 liter inline 6, also known as the 3 liter premium version of the Toyota Supra. You can see here, there's the instrument cluster. And here's the key. Looks like a regular Toyota key. You know, typical buttons. Let's uh, step out. There's the old boring Avalon right there. So yes, we're gonna do a quick walk around right quick. Of this Toyota Supra. Take a look. Step back a little bit. Look at the lights. You know, actually, I'm gonna close the door and let the uh, let this down. Now, let's do a walk around. This is a 2019, I believe, but if I'm wrong, if this is a 2020 model, I'll make sure to correct that in the video description section. You can see it has aggressive styling. The engine, like I said, is an inline six, a three liter inline six, sourced from BMW. It's also shared in the BMW Z4 sports car. Look at these forged wheels. Rimbo brakes, thick, very thick rotors. Sport tires by Michelin. Xenon lights, LEDs. Functional air scoops. Carbon fiber rear view mirrors on the left and right side. This is just for design right here. This is just a design feature. Let's pop the trunk right quick. Special thanks to Classic Toyota in Waukegan, Illinois. The salesman that is going to be going for the ride with me his name will be mentioned in the uh, description of the video so you all can contact him if you're interested in buying this vehicle or anything else that you may be interested in so you can see here you can of course pull this up has a the trunk is somewhat small but it's not too small for this type of car I think it's a fair amount of trunk space I can't complain of course it has one of these emergency things up here in case somebody ever gets stuck in there not sure how somebody would get stuck in there so those are your backup lights the exhaust is really nice those tips are really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and uh there yeah, obviously the gas hatch is right there we're gonna go ahead and get inside the interior parking sensors Right over there. Fairly quiet. Here's your adjustable settings for the seats. There's your... Well, this interior is not bad at all. It's, it's a more... Uh, it's a more... Uh, you know understated interior it's nice to be in here there's plenty of features this particular trim has an understated interior but what i like here is look 
Look how many speakers are back here. Going to give you all a quick exhaust clip of the Toyota Supra. Let me go ahead and set this over here. This same touch display with the navigation and infotainment system, the entire technology that's in this car comes from BMW. Everything here. This very same display is found in a BMW M6 coupe that I got a chance to be in. Same technology. This is all BMW. The software, the hardware, the screen itself, everything. This right here, this, uh, this front dash is from Toyota so yeah the front dash here when I'm running my hand across the board with the excuse me I got a little bit of a code but anyway the, the front dash here is from Toyota this is Toyota the AC components that's Toyota this right here is BMW that's weird this is BMW this shifter is clearly BMW, even the sounds that it makes. This is BMW. This is BMW. All this stuff right here is BMW. It's so funny. This is BMW. So it's a fusion between Toyota and BMW. It's so funny. Up here, the orange lettering, all that's BMW. The, the, um, this rear view mirror is BMW. That's very funny. So it's a, it's a mix between BMW and uh, Toyota. Okay, so let's get to this. This car is equipped with a twin turbo inline six cylinder engine, again, from BMW. It makes about, and actually, let me pop the hood right quick. It makes about 380 horsepower and 370 pound-feet of torque. So the power numbers are hand in hand. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop this again. Oh. Another thing, another feature in this vehicle that is from BMW is the fact that you have to pull this latch twice, the hood latch two times here if you look there, in order to open the hood. It's ridiculous. I don't like this. This is a BMW feature. So you got to yank that twice. I like the traditional, you know, the traditional way where you just pop that once and then you go here and stick your finger underneath the hood to find a little latch. So anyway. There's your inline six. You got strut uh, braces on each side. There's your inline six. Twin turbo. Like I said, 380 horsepower. 370 or almost, well, 369, basically 370 pound feet of torque. Comes with an eight speed automatic transmission. The vehicle 
has paddle shifters, has a sport mode. It gets pretty good gas mileage. I believe it's about 22 city, 30 highway, which is pretty good for uh, a sports vehicle like this. The zero to 60 time, based upon what I've read, is about somewhere between 4.1 to 3.8 seconds. So it kind of varies, uh, you know, it does vary. You can see here, again, it does have Brembo brakes. You can see that it has parking sensors everywhere. I don't see our, oh, there's a rear camera, okay. Yeah, pretty much every car nowadays comes with a rear camera, so. This model is a, a three liter premium, so, I, it's, to me, it doesn't feel bare bones. It does feel a little understated because you know some uh, some supercars, some performance cars, some sports cars, some luxury cars, they're very very flashy. And this car, personally, I feel isn't flashy. It's understated, which is not a bad thing compared to some of your other uh, sports cars. You know, so it's uh, believed to be fa fairly reliable. Now my thing is, I'm not exactly sure how uh, the inline six is, the BMW inline six. You gotta excuse me for that noise. I gotta, uh, got this machine coming around here right now. So we know Toyotas are reliable. That's not, that, there's no question about that. This Supra again shares the same powertrain as a BMW Z4, but this looks better than the Z4. This three liter straight six, you know, again, it, it sounds great actually it sounds great it does sound good so let's take a uh, look at a few other interior uh, things right quick and then we're going to go for our driving impression this is my first time in a toyota supra and they have all the lettering around here to remind you you're in a toyota supra Here's some of the, you know, information that's up here telling you about different emission standards and regulations, you know, things like that, all the good stuff. You know, then, windshield wiper fluid locations right here, interesting spot. That's something very different. Total price for this vehicle is 57,645. So as you can see here, I was uh, pretty much right. Uh, 30 highway is 22 city, I said 25 city. 22 city, 30 highway. So, some of the other things that are in this vehicle that are included, like I said, oh, and it is rear wheel drive. I had to mention that rear wheel drive, Brembo four piston disc brakes. The tires are 20 inch. I'm sorry, 20 inch wheels with uh, uh, tires that are 255 by 35 in the front, and in the rear 275 by 35. And these are. Oh, see, you know what's funny? I can't tell the difference between a 20 inch wheel and a 19 inch. These are actually 19 inch wheels. So I said 20 inch, I mean 20, 19, basically the same thing. So it's, they're 19 inch forged aluminum 10 spoke wheels. I said 20, I mean, like I said, most people can't differentiate the size difference of a 19 inch wheel and a 20 inch wheel. So, you know, hey. Very aggressive body. And this thing serves as a spoiler. It serves as a spoiler. So, without further ado, let's uh, get back in here and then we're going to go for our drive. Blows cold air. SOS emergency uh, button. These are for your lights. As you can see there, that's another BMW feature. Uh, I'm not sure what those things are. I'm not actually sure what those are. So this this system is good. It is a good system. The, 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 um, the temperature controls are great. They blow cool air. And, uh, you know, keep you cool in the summertime and nice and warm in the winter. That's good. Dual climate controls, as you can see here. And. You can also, you, as you can see here, you can also, let me get a little, you can use that to scroll back and forth, but I prefer using my fingers. Uh, again, there's your parking brake. You can undo that. 
and it uh you can see it's on taking it off cup holders there's no real there's the only storage you get for this thing as far as center console storage so that's pretty much it sound system sounds excellent I need to turn that off so there won't be a copyright and uh, it is in here is comfortable it is tight you know other things such as your uh, power controlled mirrors to adjust the mirrors there's a warning collision collision warning right here so let's um, go ahead and uh, oh there's the fuel gauge right there there's your uh, temperature that's cool let's go ahead and get going for our drive so uh, we're gonna go right quick and give it a little uh, launch to you know see what the performance is like so so far those are my impressions of the vehicle And we're driving this thing at low speeds, it sounds just like a uh, Toyota. It does. Which I'm assuming uh, that's because of all the Toyota parts that are, you know, in here. So, you know. And we can't go this way. So what we'll have to do... Oh, okay, I see what's going on. So they're tearing up uh, and redoing the pavement over there. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to take a little detour. Oh, this also has what it appears to be uh, automatic shut off, de uh, not not cylinder, de cylinder deactivation. It's an automatic engine shut off feature that uh, supposedly saves gas. You know, it shuts off when you're, you know, idling and you're not moving, and then it'll uh, quickly start back up. The ignition will quickly start everything back up within seconds, milliseconds, to save gas. So. We will go ahead and give it uh, a little launch right quick. You get a chance, you need to let the window down so you can see. And as you can see, it shuts off for a second. I don't really like it, but actually we're gonna go this way. So. Get a little bit of gas. Very responsive. Very, very responsive car. I like it. Let me put it in sports mode right quick. Uh, let me see. So it does shut off again. I hate that part. I, don't, I really don't like that part. Let me put it in sports mode. Okay, so it says sports, uh, individual, uh, everything, dampening, engine, sports, transmission, sports, everything. Okay, good. To see what kind of differences it makes, adjust my uh, windshield right here. So, it, it sounds like a Toyota. It does. It does. What's really cool here is they have a speed limit. A little speed limit sign right there to remind you you know what the speed limit is that's great so far and uh, you know of course we want that sporty feel it's a sports vehicle very fast shifting car very quick shifting very quick shifting I'm gonna let up the windows a little bit so that uh, we can hear the interior noise emitting from the engine so I can see how uh, quiet it is or how noisy it is I don't know if this has an exhaust configuration option to you know uh, make the engine sounds more permeable to your ears I'm not sure but I'm gonna give it a paddle shifting uh, play Let's see here so 
manual for paddle shifting. I'm gonna downshift a little bit. Here we go. Yes, very good. Very good stuff. So one more time with the paddle shifters and then I'm going back. One more time. Excellent, we're turning back around. Excellent. So some people are, uh, they have mixed feelings on this vehicle. You know, some of the older Supra fans are saying this isn't a real Supra. This is a BMW. It's not living up to its name because it doesn't have enough power. But I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I, I, I beg to differ. So paddle shifted. It, you know what? When I hear it launching a little bit, it does remind me somewhat of a BMW. So that's cool. You all like share subscribe follow me on Instagram stiff suspension throws you in the back of your seat yes it only has uh, 382 horsepower or 380 horsepower and like I said about 300 yes it does only have 380 horsepower 370 pound-feet of torque but due to the fact that this thing is pretty light it moves very quickly rear wheel drive a speed automatic it moves very quickly so I know it's down on power a little bit but believe it or not it, the performance that you get stock is actually pretty satisfying despite the lower power numbers compared to some of its competitors in the same uh, sports segment it's satisfying it is so I would recommend you all buy this car I would highly recommend you all buy this car Consider it at least at least consider it as an option, you know, because uh, it really you can't go wrong with this. Special thanks to Leo Malesio at Toyota right here, Classic Toyota in Waukegan, Illinois. I'm gonna put uh, post up uh, his information in the video description so that you all can contact him if you have any questions, concerns, or interested in the vehicle. You know, very excellent vehicle. Again, classic Toyota. I'm gonna get out right quick so you all can look. So again, you all can look right here and see, this is the Supra. Let me step back a little bit so you all can see again. This is the Toyota Supra for a walk around. It's about $60,000. Some of them have better interior packaging and trim options. But uh, honestly, for what you get here, I think, uh, it's pretty good. Let's from Classic Toyota and Waukegan. Just wanted to let you know that we got the 2021 Toyota Supra. Beautiful car. Very affordable compared to the 1997-98. This what all the technology, everything you're looking forward to. This is it. This is the beauty you're looking for. Come and see a Classic Toyota in Waukegan. 515 North Green Bay Road.
in Waukegan and my number of course my phone number is 847-507-1014 come and see Leo Malesio from Classic Toyota in Waukegan the Supra is ready let us know what color you want and that's what we get fix it up and spend more money you got all the technology here the pre-collision dynamic and if you like it take it home come and see Leo Malesio Classic Toyota look forward to see you